Hi, this is Mike Shelburne, Athletic Director for Sheridan High School in Sheridan, Indiana. This is the Team USA Road Tour, represented by Sheridan's own Nick Zachary. Go get him, Nick. Um, basically, I've just been playing football since I like, basically could walk, and ever since I was young, I've loved the game, so it's just been something that I've enjoyed doing and something that I've wanted to make, that I've wanted to do in college, so I mean, I've just been excited to play it. Well, the last four years, uh, we went 56 and 4, uh, and uh, Nick was a big part of that. He started all four years and uh, took us to three state championships and one runner-up, uh, so uh, Probably the best four years uh, in school's history. For Nick, having an opportunity to to compete at the at the next level, the highest level, you know, obviously he's going to be going to college and competing as well. But the fact that you know now he's going to represent the United States and and help us, you know, put Sheridan on the map as well. And then you know for Sheridan as a community, as a as a football uh, program, as a school, it's a great opportunity to have. Well, I think that the biggest memory I have of Nick is uh, when he was in the eighth grade. Uh, he was uh, part of the team, he was a water boy as far as the team was concerned, ball boy. And uh, we got beat in the regionals at uh, Seeger. And uh, after the ball game, he came up to me and he said, Coach, he said, we will not get beaten in the tourney when I'm, when I'm playing. So he just about uh, he fulfilled this. Uh, we only lost once in uh, the tourney in four years. Well, Sheridan's football history dates back to 1899, uh, one of the few schools that can go back before 1900 to compete. Uh, our football program has, has been a uh, perennial state power for, uh, for several years and uh, with the advent of uh, the class tournament starting in 1973, uh, Sheridan has been synonymous with success, especially at the small school level. You know, and I guess the uh, most constant thing you can say about Sheridan football is the guy that's been at the top, uh, Coach Larry Bud Wright. He's been here since 1966 and you know he's, he's done a great job of, of developing teams and developing players and, and the success that he's had. Uh, um, he's just taught me so much about the game and about everything. He's he's prepared me, I think, better than anybody could have ever prepared me. And I think I'm going to take a lot of what he's taught me and put it put it to use in college and in the World Championships. Once I found out about it, I was really looking forward to playing in it. I mean, I think it'll be great competition. It'll be great for, the, for college following. Well, Nick brought an athleticism and an ability to, to to be an athlete, I guess, more than anything else. You know, he, under, he understands the game very well, uh, able to see things developing before it actually happens. And his success is for, you know, on the field, you know, God-given ability, hard work ethic, and listening to the, what the coaches say to him, you know, put him in a position to be successful. And, and like I said, he's, he's had a natural ability that God gave him, but he didn't let it sit and waste. You know, he, he worked at it and, and made himself a better player. What do you hope that Nick can take away from the experience of playing on Team USA and in, 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 in international competition? Well, I think he could take away, you know, a lot of good memories. The fact that it is the first uh, one play is such there, and I think that uh, just the fact that he was chosen for the first team is uh, quite an honor. Uh, the thing I can tell him is, is he's got to go out with the attitude that uh, he had when he came into high school that uh, he just can't be beat. I'm going to be playing against people that are great from other countries, so hopefully I can take a lot from what I'm getting from this and then take it to college and put it forth. What I've learned, never played anybody out of Indiana, so playing people out of country, uh, from another country will be a blast.
this in the 1970s. It was taken out of an old church. And how, how many times do you think you contributed to this bell being rung? Um, let's see, probably 140 times, give or take. I don't know how many of them are here, but most of the time, anytime somebody score a touchdown, just get rung and get everybody pumped up. So it's a big part of one of the traditions here at Sheridan. Thank <laughs> you.